Mike and Dan Fung, when did the film be become about Nathan? Uh, that was about um, seven months after this initial operation, this large offensive in 2009. Uh, 4,000 Marines were being dropped behind enemy lines to seize this insurgent stronghold. And Nathan's company, Echo Company 28, they were going the furthest in. And the commanders were most worried about this unit because they were so far out of artillery range. And shortly after landing, we were surrounded and attacked from all sides. And the fighting really focused around this pile of rubble that became known as Machine Gun Hill. And it was extremely heavy. Uh, the, after the first day, one Marine was killed. A dozen had collapsed from exhaustion. and Nearly all of us had run out of water. And that's, that's the first scene you see in the film. Uh, and, and that's when a Marine handed me his bottle of water. And this was Sergeant Harris. And we first met on that hill. And I could see he was this exceptional leader, completely fearless and, and extremely experienced as well. So I followed his platoon as they pushed further into the stronghold and, and spent a lot of time with him and got to know him very well out there. But it wasn't until about seven months later when I was back in North Carolina waiting for the Marines to come home in that, in that second scene. And the, the Marines are streaming off the buses to this emotional reunion with their families. I noticed very quickly that Nathan didn't get off the bus. So I asked the men, where's, where's Sergeant Harris? And they said he was hit two weeks ago, medevaced out. And so I called him up. And he was just being released from a naval hospital. And uh, he was in extreme pain, had undergone multiple surgeries. Yet he invited me back up to his hometown of Yadkinville, North Carolina. And that's where he introduced me to his, his friends um, and his family and to Ashley. And he would say, this guy was out there with me. Uh, and that sort of instantly I was accepted into this very rural Baptist community. And I lived with the two of them during his recovery um, and his transition back home. So it was really at that moment of stepping off the bus that I realized, OK, Nathan's not here. His story is continuing, and I had to really fo follow him as he continued.